We are at Rosie's We're just going to keep doing what we're doing. All right. Established Which, at 1342. Oh, yeah, it happens to be the hangout of the world famous band, Rosie and the Fuzzers. Play it. Action. And since none of us are professionals, mm -hmm. we're trying to make average awesome. That's yeah. the tagline you need to go with. That's what Rosie and Brothers does. Yeah. That's good. I like it. I'm, I'm a writer. Yeah. You know, I can think of things. Yeah, yeah I don't write, but I can tell it's yeah. awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and just start out with prayer. We can get off on the right foot. The goal here, this was, this is the first of about five or six short films wherein we can actually learn how to do well at our craft yeah. in all yeah. the areas. So here we're making table lamps for all the tables. And we're incorporating the awesome green, which is in our color palette, because we have lots of red, so we need more green. So the idea for the pub is that it's been around for a very long time, and we have people from all over who come here, kind of past, present, future also. And so we want it to be, they collected lots of things, so it has the older feel, and then they have a collection of past, present, maybe future stuff. I asked the crew, you know, yeah. what are they trying to get out of this? Yeah. Josh wants to capture a story from start to finish. Yeah. As the director, uh, apparently hasn't been satisfied, maybe with quality. his attempts in his uh, yeah. previous attempts. He just wants to go for the, he's a perfectionist. He wants the best he can possibly do. So that's one thing that I can say for him that is better than me. He's a perfectionist. I settle for, you know, good enough. He, you know, he has to go for the best. His dear sister wants it to happen on schedule. Yeah, summer clothes. All right, Edie, how long until we're supposed to start shooting? Five minutes, which is hopefully gonna happen. I think my value in this, one of the biggest bugaboos of filming is to capture yeah. good live audio. Oh, sure. Yeah, and that's been struggling. Jason uh, Heyman has been uh, working with us on that. Yeah. If you want, Isaac, you want your script up here, I so want to write about there. Alright, so Rode NTG2. And it's coming in rather handy for the, for the, for the wider shot where we have to get get closer and get the same presence without keep getting the mic in the shot. And so we have to back off with that. Does it seem to be doing that well? Yeah, it did actually do, it actually did very well when we were testing it out. Between that and the small diaphragm mic that we've got for the close-ups, that it's going to work really well and give us the, give us the sound that we want. Um, if we get back on schedule, we will be done by 6, 10. Right, so Stephanie's my sister, younger sister. Mm -hmm. So she would that's prefer to be older. Right and currently and taller. And so that's, that's, that's been uh, <laughs> like a thing in our whole relationship. Yeah. But she does a good job mm. of organizing mm -hmm. and she has the energy and drive mm -hmm. that I needed as an assistant director to kind of hound me uh, mm -hmm. in a good way. Well, hold on, love. This is the title track off Sunset on Futon by the Flaming Anchovies. Every planet had a song already titled Sunset on Mars, Sunset on Jupiter, Sunset... We had to come up with a planet that was not a planet, so Planet Futon, right? The long-term goal is to make uh, high-quality short films that have to do with events that happen in the pub here and the, yeah. the band that inhabits this place. Yeah. This, this project in particular, being the first one where we've done the entire process, it was just really cool to just watch it develop and then happen and be successful through it all. I think it was really cool.